How does the United States respond to the killing of three American soldiers without plunging the Western world into a state of war? President Biden says he has his answer. The president told reporters Tuesday he has decided how he wants to respond after an Iranian-backed militia struck a military base in Jordan Sunday. In addition to the three deaths, more than 40 other troops were injured. Mr. Biden did not expand on what the response could look like. The Pentagon is sending additional air defense systems to the Tower 22 outpost, where about 350 Army and Air Force personnel were stationed at the time of the attack. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin reports. President Biden told reporters he has made up his mind how to retaliate for the drone attack which killed three American soldiers in Jordan. Yes. I do hold them responsible in the sense that they're supplying the weapons to the people who did it. In an apparent attempt to head off U.S. airstrikes, the Iranian-backed militia the U.S. blames for Sunday's deadly attack announced it was suspending military operations against American forces. The Pentagon spokesman responded by noting there have been three more attacks on U.S. troops since the drone strike in Jordan. You know, I, I don't think we could be any more clear. Uh, that we have called on the Iranian proxy groups to stop their attacks. Uh, they have not. Uh, and so uh, we will respond in a time and manner of our choosing. The U.S. military is rushing additional air defenses to that base in Jordan, which officials acknowledge had not been as well protected against drone attack as American troop locations across the border in Iraq and Syria. Sunday was the first time the outpost, known as Tower 22, had been attacked. The drone came in low and slow shortly after parts of the air defense system had been taken offline to allow a returning American drone to land safely. It was not detected in time and hit the sleeping quarters while troops were still in their beds. And David Martin joins me now. David, um, two-part question. Why wasn't the military base in Jordan protected as well as the other bases? And is there any evidence that the, that the attacking forces took advantage of that, um, that synchronicity with a drone returning? Or was that just a, a very, very unhappy accident? Well, let me answer that second one first. It, it appears to have uh, been... Uh, an unfortunate accident, uh, uh, blind luck for the uh, the militias that launched that drone. Uh, it, it's not as though the drone followed the friendly American drone uh, in in the in its shadow and, and snuck in that way. Uh, it it came some time afterwards, and it wasn't even in the same. Uh, plane of approach. So it does not look like a deliberate ta tactic. It looks like blind chance. Uh, as to why uh, there was not more air defense there, the, the short answer is that it had not been attacked before. Uh, bases in Iraq and Syria, including one just uh, 15 miles uh, north of the base in Jordan on the Syrian side of the border, had been attacked repeatedly, but until Sunday, no weapon had landed on the Jordanian side of the border. And that may have created a uh, false sense of security. And whether or not uh, the uh, militia was counting on that false sense of security, uh, we don't know yet. Now, it's easy uh, to second guess and, and uh, say, well, you should have put in uh, more air defenses. But if you put in more air defenses, that means you also have to put in more people. And if you put in more people, you have to get uh, the permission of the Jordanian government, which uh, doesn't like to admit it has American troops on its soil. So it's, it's a judgment call. And in hindsight, it's, it's pretty easy to second guess that, that judgment. Right. If you t does adding the more defense systems um, tighten up security, though, so that this, uh, you know, it w would be kept from happening again if a similar thing happened? I think the most you can say is that it uh, increases the odds that uh, nothing like this will happen again. There are no perfect air defense systems. There are no perfect 
air defense system operators. And of course, the enemy is trying his best to uh, defeat the system. So if you uh, take the chances of technical malfunction and human error and throw in enemy tactics, something sooner or later is going to get through. And in all these other attacks on uh, U.S. bases in Iraq and Syria, weapons have gotten through. Remember, uh, U.S. troops have suffered scores of concussions over the past four months from the blasts of these weapons going off inside their bases. <clears throat> David Martin with the details for us from the Pentagon. Thank you very much, David.